Hello planner friends. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been quite a while, but I want to sit down with you all today and tell you where I've been. I owe you an explanation. Um, and thank you to all my followers and new subscribers. I really hope I can get back into the swing of things. Um, now that the semester is about to wind down. Um, I've kind of found a, a little bit of time to just, uh, to just spend some time with you all. Um, you know, time is precious and my time has just been going to so many different things and I just want to share them with you. I think I've posted some videos before, but this is going to be kind of a planner flip through kind of a what have I been up to situation. So, um, I believe the last time I touched base, uh, was August and I did some rewind spreads, which were really cool. Um, I don't call this my memory planner anymore. I call it my yearbook. I got the idea from Mandy Dreams, um, or Mandy Plans. Uh, she has both a shop and a channel and she's doing Dreamsgiving or, um, like journal with me type of videos, which is cool. Um, only I don't think I want to do my journaling on camera. So I just kind of keep it as my yearbook. This is my yearbook. Um, and you know, when you're in high school, you never think about having like continuing to get a yearbook. And I'm one of those people that I never got our, uh, college yearbook either. Cause I never went and took the picture. <laughs> chat like if you were one of those people just because I think it's funny but um I just wanted to like share with you guys my yearbook and what I've been up to and where I've been so the last time I I'm just gonna start at the beginning of this planner so naturally I don't know how many Erie Condren's I have that are like this but I'm pretty sure it's all of them um I still haven't found like a great use for these yet but I'm hoping to find a use um it's been about six months so we're just gonna fly through this so this is my budget review page um and this is my July. I have a video on this that's been re-uploaded. Um, I'll link it down below. And um, I just kind of put in my favorite things. This was when we went on a study abroad trip for work. This was also how I was using my planner at the time. I had planned with me for this week, this week, and I believe this week as well. So I'll link all of those down below for you to watch. Actually, I think I'll make a playlist and you guys can just watch my, my July um, videos. Um, and then this was part of the rewind. So I'll do another playlist link down below. Um, this is our first week in London, so um, hence the kit. And I kind of did a hodgepodge of things together, and I actually really like how it turned out. Look at those steps, y'all. Look at those steps. Could not do it here. <laughs> this is probably one of my top favorite spreads. Um, yet another week we had on that trip in London. And then moving right on in to August. So August, this was coming back. Um, we did some staff training, and I just kind of keep my sidebar simple. I don't use it functionally. Um, speaking of which, moving into some things where I've been. So this is our last week in England and we flew home. And I absolutely love this. This is probably my second favorite kit. It's like pastel Harry Potter for me. It's really great. I'm a low key a Harry Potter fan, but you wouldn't know it right off the bat. Um, but yeah, I didn't really finish filling it out. Um, this is also, um, this is our first week of staff training. So just kind of fuzzy from being on the trip. I didn't, these are actually, I'm using them as full boxes. Um, I still have this kit and plan on using the, the rest of it, just not at this moment. I'm saving it for the spring because I think it would look absolutely gorgeous in the spring. And there are plenty of boxes because, I mean, if you ever use a Two Little Bees kit, it's amazing. Also, let me go back here really quick. So I get all of my monthlies from Soda Pop Studio Shop. She's re recently changed them, so I don't know if I'm still going to order them or not. But this was a printable kit from Sabina Lee's Designs on her Etsy shop. It's no longer available. This was as well, no longer available. Same with this one. And then this is actually a planning Choco kit. Um... And I actually only use like two sheets of the purple kit and I use some functionals. This is a Sabina Lee's Designs purple kit. I'm not sure if it's on her main website. I know she's close to her Etsy, um, but you, you'll hear all about it in the plan with me. And this was a scribble print scale kit with washi by uh, the Planner Sophisticate. So I use a lot of good stuff in here and I absolutely enjoy this spread. And then I mentioned that this was two little bees and I know I'm going through this really quickly, but I just didn't want this video to be forever long. And then I took some time one evening and I back planned quite a few weeks. They're not all filled out. This one is, this is actually from Wild Sunshine Co, which I believe is now peachy something. I don't know. I haven't ordered from the shop, but I just did a hodgepodge of washi and the full boxes and kind of made my own thing. I even made these stickers here. And so, yeah. And then this was a printable kit from Sincerely D Design, still in her shop on Etsy. Absolutely love how this turned out as well. Um, a lot, lot of white space, but I just loved how it felt like August. So I just kind of kept it simple and it's super cute. So yeah. And then moving into September, which is my birthday month, but I don't, I'm not one of those planner girls who likes to do the birthday month, like monthly spread. I just prefer fall over my birthday. No offense, but my birthday is one day and fall is an entire season. I could celebrate that forever. Um, so here is yet another kit from, from, um, from, Soda Pop Studio Shop. My goodness. <laughs> I just said it. But, um, so yeah, this was a busy month. So was August. Um, my uncle passed, um, on the 27th. And so it was kind of a, a weird week. I'm going to show it to you here in a bit. Um, it was just so crazy. Um, the end of August is right after this week here. And then 
work just keeps me really, really busy. You'll see. So this is the week my uncle passed. Um, I kind of took the day off. I can't remember what I did these three days. I know I still did work. I still did. Um, and so this was just a week dedicated to him. And I'm glad that I chose this kit here. I was still kind of busy, but the florals kind of offset where I spent time with family. And, you know, um, I kind of rocked it out still because I just I also didn't have any day covers. So <laughs> um, this is a printable kit by HT Planning or Hannah Tilson Planning on Etsy. Um, and the uh, headers here actually came from the um, sheet version of this kit, of this clip art by Sabina Lee's Design. So I kind of did a little mashup here. Um, and then I used some, no wait, this isn't Hannah Tilson Planning. This is Print Petticoat Bandit, which is one of my top favorite printable shops. You'll see a lot of that in here. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was just a hard week. And um, I, this was back in August. It's November now. And my students are just now learning about what's been going on with me and my family, uh, just because I keep a lot of it private. Um, just because some stuff I just don't feel like I need to share. But um, one of the advisors for our student organizations that I work with regionally um, pointed out to me that, you know, maybe the kids would be a little bit more understanding of where I'm coming from if they just knew what all was going on. So I shared that with them tonight. And so I figured I would share with y'all what's been going on. So that following week did a lot here. It's not written in yet, though I do I do have the plan. I just, this is one of those, it looks so pretty. You've seen, you've probably seen pictures of it on um, Instagram, but I just didn't do a full sit down plan with me. Um, but honestly, this outside of my to do's and keeping up with work hours, this was about it. Um, I do still quite a bit of things. And this is when I got my um, fall simply gilded washi in. So I went ham and it went perfect with this kit. This is a Sabina Lee's Designs kit. You need to go get this kit. Um, just saying, I'm gonna probably reuse it every year. And then uh, this one's not filled in, in either. This is a Scribble Prince Co kit. Love the Insta Bloom um, kit. It was a mini kit that I used and I'm still gonna fill it in because I have a plans for it too but I'm just not gonna fill it on camera. Um, and these script stickers are ones that I made. And honestly, it just, it's just so pretty. I love this. And then here's another print petticoat bandit kit. This is my birthday week. Again, I didn't fill it all out. I still did a bunch of to-dos. I could probably write in some just to fill it in. Um, and my birthday was actually on a Friday and I used some foil overlays from Squirrel Prints Co. And that was well, just cause I felt like it matched, but I absolutely love the colors of this kit. I love the incorporation of purple. That was my favorite part. Um, I'm still juries out on the foil overlays um i don't know if i'll do that i think i kind of like kits that have the foil on it already but i think i prefer it on premium matte versus regular matte so i don't know your girl's gonna be doing some experimenting um this is also the time where i finally got um my whiteout i finally invested in some good whiteout um so yeah and still so much going on like the dentist i i don't know why i set all of my appointments to be in august and september they it was the worst ever but just that and work and we ended up being short staffed this year uh, residentially and I'm a residential staff member so I had to fill in even more so it was just a lot and this is the um, next week after my birthday and this is a Sabina Lee's Designs kit I absolutely love how this turned out um, actually that's this washi here on the bottom I know you're seeing like my washi collection but honestly like I didn't have anywhere else to put it right now because I need to organize them I have washi all over my desk you can't even see all of the mess that it is, but trust, I believe it is a mess. But I did fill this week out completely. These Netflix stickers are from the uh, Fassy Shop or Facey Shop. I don't know how to say it, but they're super quick and easy to print out, and they worked really well with this kit. So I just threw it in. Also, these bows are from Sabina Lee's Designs. I know it's slick the scroll prints cover, but Andrea changed her, so they're not totally the same anymore. And I'm obsessed with Andrea's bow. I can't always afford SPC, but the love is there for sure. But yeah, so busy, busy weeks. I mean, I'm still a fairly productive person, even in the midst of what could be anxiety, depression, just an all out, I don't want to do the thing anymore. But I still push through it. I still get stuff done. I still, basically, I accomplish everything that needs to be accomplished so that um, I can take time off and kind of build myself back up. And honestly, this year, I just really needed to, I was trying to push through so that I could actually have the time to do that. So this was one of those weeks I was just pushing through. Um, and then we go into October with another uh, Soda Pop Studio kit. And um, I love the monthly kits. I still need to finish filling out October um, as far as like work stuff, favorite things for the month and personal things. Those are like my only things that I put in there. And so I'm just gonna finish filling this out and um, I kind of toss the extras. So yeah, there's that. And then here is first week of fall. I love that October 1st started on a Monday. It was perfect. Anyways, um, hope I never do that again. This was an OG kit by Caress Press. I only used it because her shop was open again and I was so happy about it. I haven't placed an order yet, but I am excited to finally spend some coin a little bit on there. I don't know when, but it's gonna be half, it's gonna have to be the right kit. Um, this week though, we had I have work to do still, and then my sister had surgery, and this was um, leading into um, 
fall break but I wasn't there so like I left on Wednesday because my sister's surgery was early in the morning and me and my mom were there and basically like stayed took care of her till about Saturday she, she recovered really well and then Sunday went back to work and had to um, get back to it so um, yeah love this kit love the colors love this girl at the bottom she's probably one of my faves um, but this is about as filled out as this week is going to get and I think I'm keeping up pretty well so even though I wasn't posting playing with me's I was still planning um, and this was pretty much my workhorse for a while Next up, we have another kit by Sabina Lee's Designs. Absolutely love this kit right here. Another one that I will probably use every year. I just love it. It's a good balance of light pink, oranges, and honestly, the Simply Gilded washi for the fall was a perfect fit. Absolutely perfect fit. So um, I did something funky here um, where I overlaid the 5mm washi over the glitter headers because I wasn't as much of a fan of the glitter. And so I wanted, this was me making my own like foiled overlays, so to speak. So it still works, whatever, judge me, I don't care. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much that week. We kind of, we went into a uh, fall break. Also had some work to still do. So I kind of worked for part of the break before I actually enjoyed some of it. And uh, back to work, we go on Sunday. So it just never ends. And the way my job functions is I work seven days a week. There's no guaranteed off days. I kind of have to make my own off time as well. So that doesn't help. Then here we have this gorgeous fall kit. Um, here I experimented a little bit more with some overlays. This is a print petticoat bandit kit. Absolutely stunning. Love the colors. I love the incorporation of pink, blue, and orange because I'm not a pumpkin person. I'm a sweet potato person. But I know everybody loves pumpkin with fall. And pumpkin isn't pumpkin that. And honestly, I think it's disgusting because I don't like pumpkin. Don't judge me. I'm just stating my own opinion here. But yeah, I experimented with the overlays. These are actually from a separate kit. If you recognize Andrea's fall tea and kit, this, um, the weekly sticker kit that's what I bought here and that's where that's from but Print Petticoat Bandit like she is killing it in the printables game honestly her weekly kits are amazing and so are her monthlies I'm curious to try them out which is why I don't know what I'm going to do since Soda Pop Studio changed her kit I think I'm still going to order the Soda Pop Studio kits but I mean I did have to reevaluate some things for a minute um one of my coworkers got married actually on this Monday and I designed their wedding program like the things to do so um I'm gonna try for Christmas if I can get things situated how I want, I'm going to get a laser printer. I have some gold foil and I left some pieces of a program black on purpose and I'm going to order, I have a laser, I, not a laser, <laughs> I need to get a laser printer and I also want to get the mink and I'm just going to like try and foil her program for her so that she could keep, have a keepsake version of it. Um, and so it's all in Cinderella blue and I figured the gold would just stand out and look so pretty and I really wanted that to be magical for her. So um, since she got married on this day and it was a crazy week. I do a lot of stuff. This isn't even half of the things that I do in a day. This is just the things that I can't forget. <laughs> um, so cleaning goes on the back burner. Um, basically anything self-care wise, back burner. I take care of everybody else. The only thing I end up doing for myself when I'm this busy is sleep. Um, and that's kind of all it is. Um, I still experience migraines despite having my wisdom teeth pulled. And so I still have to monitor that. I'm starting to think it's more caffeine related and I have to be careful because it affects my blood pressure. And being under 30, um, it just kind of a lot <laughs> um absolutely a lot um the uncle that I mentioned passing before um he was third uncle we've had to um basically deal with his death and so it's just been really rough on my family rough on me with work and somehow this was my therapy at the time because I don't I work in education I don't make enough to actually have money to see a therapist <laughs> even though I really probably need one um, I have looked into the online talk space, whatever, but I mean, it just is what it is. This was my therapy and I just, I was being productive through my therapy. And I think that's one of the things I just fell in love with about planning is that, um, you know, when I'm not recording, I'm not filming, I need to sit here and um, basically be creative in this area or with the full boxes or how I curate for this to look. But when I fill this in, it's everything I need to get done in a week or pay attention to. Um, also this month in October, I forgot to mention um, I st my habits started changing because I, I um, am doing this uh, program from work called Naturally Slim. I've mentioned it before and linked it before in a previous video, but um, absolutely love the program. I just need to practice it. Um, it's been really helpful and I'm going to keep the workbook and just keep doing the things, but those skills are probably the biggest things. And if I can incorporate some exercise, I'll be, homegirl will be cooking with grease, okay? <laughs> as far as this weight loss journey goes. So yeah, that's this week here. Um, it was also a big week for um, weekend activities. We just, I'm in charge of those as well. Um, then this week here, um, we had our Halloween dance and I'm not big on Halloween, but I love me little celestial stuff. So this is a kit from Sincerely D Designs, printable kit on Etsy. And 
love it because it's purple and i love how she incorporated all the other colors like twg designs just be killing it out here with the clip art i cannot get enough of her stuff she just brings it every time and she gets better and better and better and better just love it also i love that i can with purple kids i can get the black girl with the colors of the hair because a lot of times printed uh shops will just throw in the black girl with just normal hair color i'm like why can't she have a purple hair why can't she have a pink hair or the blue hair or whatever color like give me all the options for my skin tone because i know the artist did that's another thing that i love about twg design she is very inclusive with her art and so hands down one of my favorites um also i filled it out <laughs> and as y'all can see it gets really really crazy um we had the Halloween dance. We had escape rooms that night. Had to go shopping. And then I, anytime I could get, I just slept. And I really appreciate my family understanding because honestly, I should spend more time with them. But I'm exhausted and it's a drive to see them. Um, I wish I could get my mom on Marco Polo. That would save a lot. Then again, I'm going to be careful what I ask for. <laughs> so moving on to November. Love this. I uh, thought this was a great addition for this washi as well. It just looks so good. I still need to finish filling it out, but honestly, this has been filled out for about all, a month now. It's wild. I did plan this in November, um, like at the beginning, beginning, because I just gotten this along with December, and I have December planned out, spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, I'll need to wrap up October and November and eventually go back to August and fill out those other weeks. But yeah, absolutely busy time. Um, like all kinds of stuff was out for a conference. That's what I use my washi for. I use my other strips for my budget page. So um, just to look at things coming ahead. Uh, Black Friday shopping, Thanksgiving, staff meetings, paydays. Like it has been rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. So yeah. Um, also, I ended up, I need to put in here that I got a new phone, um, which was very exciting. It was basically a gift I got for myself. So I'm just going to throw this in here right now, actually. So I ended up getting the Galaxy Note 9 in lavender, and I absolutely love it. Um, this is a weekend activity. These are all weekend activities. So we did the Harry Potter movie marathon. We made butterbeer the whole night. It was great. In fact, the kids who went to Harlexton with us over the summer when we visited Harry Potter Studios, they said that my butterbeer was better than theirs. And I think that's because I threw ice cream in it. <laughs> um, it's really good. But if you want to know what I did to my butterbeer, let me know down in the comments below. And then this week uh, was Halloween week. And again, like I said, I'm not big on a spooky. I'm more on the fall. But when Screw Prince Co. came out with this kit, I had to have it. And so I picked it up. I got the mini kit. It was perfect. Paired it with some some of this. But I think it'd be even cooler if I could, like, get in. I don't know. Part of me wants to put in the Screw, Screw Prince Co. bows. I don't know. What do y'all think? I just think, ugh, I think I'm going to have to do it. I know that's a waste of washi. But honestly, this is my yearbook. And I want it to look good. Um, which... I've been calling this more in my yearbook because honestly that's what it feels like i'm curating my own yearbook instead of <laughs> waiting on a committee to do it but again stuff during the day and i kid you not kid you not is not everything that i end up doing i didn't even end up doing this i'm i finished setting up as much as i can but i think this is going to be a planner setup that you guys won't see until january um which there's still a lot going on in january <laughs> so yeah i'm always doing something i always need to do this for some reason um and i try my best to get rest and sleep and take care of myself but truthfully i I'm exhausted and I'm still an introvert in a lot of ways. And so sometimes I can just be exhausted by making myself available throughout a day and it just drains me completely. But I love the pastelness of this kit. It was just beautiful. And I made these because I got them from, um, I got them from Oso Paper Co. They were $2. And so I went ham and used a coupon. Worked out great. And then this was the kit. Um, I still need to fill this week out. I got some to-dos that I can fill in, but honestly, this was kind of how it went. It was so crazy. I couldn't even fill out everything that I needed to do. I do have it written down. I just, in my other, like, to-go planner. But this right here, this was when I was doing more therapy than actually being productive. I, I guess you could say I kind of got into a funk a little bit of, uh, I'm tired and I'm going to rest. And if people need me, they can call me. And that's kind of been where, I've at, where I've been. And honestly, it's felt a lot better to not have so much pressure on myself. But I absolutely love this kid. Like, I adore it um, because it's fall and I love it. And then, um... Let's see. This weekend, yeah, this was the Harry Potter Marathon weekend, which you would think I'd use a Harry Potter kit, but we were so far into November, and I didn't really, I had a kit I could use, but I wanted to use this. Let's be real. It's my yearbook. I can do what I want. Anyways, um, moving on into uh, few, the weekend before, the week before Thanksgiving week. So this was when I was gone for that conference, and just busy. Let's be real. I got all kinds of overtime, okay? Got a lot of overtime. 
but this is about as filled out as this week is gonna get and it's very, very busy so we left we got to where we were going we did all kinds of stuff at this conference and then the day we got back um i took a nap and then we set up for our winter formal for the dance and the next day uh the guys that i'm watching there for wanted to do a wingsgiving so i had to do some things for that too and it's just been an all-out wild wild time and then here is thanksgiving week so this is about as filled out as this is going to get to as you can see still very busy lots of stuff going on follow-ups after our conference um we closed on tuesday and we did a little soiree thing um i didn't actually get to paint my nails um then the next day i ended up driving home um had to drop a wallet to a student then we watched had dinner and watched hallmark my mom came up we then the next day was thanksgiving we prepped and then we went shopping but i just put it over here with all the shopping and let me tell y'all it's gonna be a good christmas okay i've been busting my butt so hard and all this extra money i'm just i'm just putting it under the christmas tree because i want to see my family happy and um i mean i don't even care if i get what i want like i want to see them get what they want so um I kind of spent all my money on them <laughs> um a lot of it anyway so yeah we just kind of I, I and then i always whenever i do go on my study abroad trip i do a slideshow with my family and we, we haven't been able to get together to do it before now so last this past saturday um i did it for them and i talked to them all about england and what we did and went through the pictures on my phone and just all the things and they're just <laughs> like eating it out of my hand which is so so cool because um they would they've never gone to see these things and it was my second time going and I kind of felt bad because I didn't take as many pictures as I did the first time but um I still think they got a lot of the effect and um I'm hoping to share even more with them in the future but um this oh yeah this is a printable gift by print petticoat bandit and um scroll prince co scroll prince co and then this week was by ht planning I absolutely love this so then here we go into December. As you can see, I haven't filled out my budget review yet, but I kind of I kind of just track things as I see them. Um, so that there's no surprises depending on the paycheck. So um, which I'm doing really well right now and I'll need to update my YNAB. But yeah. And then this is December. It's already planned out. It's not filled out, but I plan this out the same time I planned November, which was about November 1st, November 2nd. And so this week is all like planned or ready to go. And so that's where we're at right now with the December monthly. And these are all the extras that I'll be using. I, like, I still haven't even put in this yet and December starts this weekend, but I'll get around to it. And then here we have the current week. So you will hopefully see a plan with me on this. Um, here's how the week is going so far. I need to fill out Wednesday because um, we did have a shindig tonight. And I had to do a few things prior to it. So I'm just gonna put a little card here. I don't think I have any more labels that I can really use. So I'll put a little card there. Oh, and I did watch a few movies, so I'll put the card here. And I'll put the little celebration glasses here and the movie sticker here. Um, so yeah, I'll fill out the rest of this. And then I'll fill in my to-dos for the day. Um, I think at the most I did I had to go to Kroger to buy stuff for the party and then um, I had to do pickups which is not my normal thing but um, that was basically it for the day. Um, I could have wrote that better so that it matched, but whatever. Um, but yeah, this is how the week is going so far. These are the things that I've planned. I'm hopeful to get the plan with me up by this week, and I may get this video up tomorrow since I'm just talking through with you guys. I know I'm running through quite quickly, but this is a glam planner kit, and you will see what I started with, but it wasn't much, and um, you will see the complete video at the end of this week. I'm kind of mimicking tattoo teacher plans on this just because I think it'll work out a little bit better for me to get you guys some videos more consistently for the time being. And that's where I'm at in my planner right now. So you guys are as up to date as I am. This is all, all that I've got. Um, and as we flow into December, I hope you guys can uh, forgive me for being away for so long. But um, if you saw some of those plans as quickly as I was flowing through them, I've just been really, really busy. Um, I don't even have kids, but these kids keep me busy and I don't mind it. It's just it's just a lot. So if, there, if you have a question about anything you saw in here about where it was from, just comment down below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can on my new phone. And um, until my plan with me that'll hopefully go up on Sunday, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.